Hello, it's Craig and welcome to a bus or a, a coach as some of them call them. You might be wondering why am I on a coach? Well, um, there's nobody about so I thought I'll just make a quick video. Um, I'm now entering, I can't remember what it is, I think it's week nine uh, and I'm getting, I'm delaying get uploading these which is just because of time really but uh, I did the weigh in uh, last Monday and um, it went very very well. I have lost another just over five pounds, more than five pounds, I should say. And that brings me up to over four stone weight in loss. So that's a lot. And I'm super chuffed about that. For the first time in, it's got to be like seven or eight, six, six or seven years, I've, I'm under 20 stone. So, so I know it's still a heavy being 19 stone something but uh you know it's uh you know maybe i can lose another four stone who knows um i am nearing the end of the nhs shake and soup diet i have another I think of three weeks to go and um already they're talking to me on the app i can't show you the app because i'm using it to record this but uh it's already prompted me to start thinking about what you're going to do after the 12 weeks uh the whole program doesn't just end there. You can, you're continued to be monitored um, as you uh, go through your, um, you know, the rest of the year, your full 12 months, uh, and they uh, help you make good decisions about what food you're going to eat. Uh, I'm already kind of like in my head. I'm thinking, right, I'm, I can have a blowout. I want to have a blowout, and but for me, and I don't. I don't because I guess it's alarm bell straight away. But part of me thinks, yeah, you should be allowed to have like a pizza or maybe have a cooked breakfast every now and then. And I think that I'm depriving myself of some of the fine things in life if I don't do that. But what I have to do is not do what I did before, which is become addicted to eating like that. I was in a pretty bad place, maybe in my head about my attitude about food. I was not comfortable with myself. Um, I don't know about you if you were going through a similar thing to me, but like if ever I stay at a hotel, I, what, first thing I do was put towels over mirrors. I didn't want to see myself. Constantly avoiding my reflection, always in denial about my size and how I looked, and only really seeing it in the videos. Uh, with position when I'm filming, position cameras above me so that my neck gets disguised, and it, you know that. But when you're like that, it grows. Um, but I'm kind of uh, not. I'm hoping not, I'm looking for, well, I don't have to do that anymore. I've kind of started towards the end, just, just filming myself. And it was, it's kind of taken that. And of course, the, uh, the doctor saying, you've just gone into the range of being uh, diabetes too. It's those things that just made me think I had to make that change. But the doctor thing was the main thing. You know, uh, this is, um, you're now getting, you're seriously endangering your life uh, by just enjoying pizzas and, and just enjoying fast food and just making these snap decisions about what you're going to consume and how you're living your life. And it also started impacting making videos because I wasn't able to go out and do walks like I used to do or like to do on this channel. I've now done a five mile walk and it nearly killed me. But and I thought, right, I don't know. I when I was doing the walk, I was thinking I can't do these anymore. Uh, but then the next day I was like, oh, I want to go and do another one. So um, it's just great to be out in the countryside again and chatting to you a lot about, you know, what, what I'm going through as I'm taking my walks and sharing it with you. Because I like to walk alone, but I also like to share it, which is kind of a weird conundrum. I'm glad there's nobody there with me. <laughs> but I'm glad there's a camera there so I can like uh, take notes if you like. You, you are my journal. Anyway, back to, <laughs> back to dieting. Um, I'm, I'm in a really good place about the whole thing. He says, scratching his neck in a mannerism which contradicts what he just said. But uh, I am actually, uh, I mean, obviously I'd like to lose more, but, I, you know, I think you can lose too much too fast. And it's possible I've done that. Uh, the doctor, I went to see the doctor, I went to the doctor and told him about my sort of situation and said, do you think I should still be taking sort of the, uh, 
the blood pressure pills that you gave me? And he says, yeah. You see, the thing about diabetes is it isn't something just that fat people get. Let's not mess about with our language. Fat people are not the only people who get diabetes. Perfectly healthy, otherwise healthy people have diabetes when they're thin and, or medium build or whatever. Um, and it's something that has to be monitored for a long period of time. I recently had my blood test done, well, beginning of this week, and they, they've just messaged me back, and this is what they've said. So that's pretty good. Um, kind of my blood sugar levels are officially, according to the doctor, normal. They've actually done the proper tests with my blood. I've taken it out of my arm and testing it properly and everything's normal. So I'm super, super, super pleased about that. And they're going to do another one in September. But this diet has worked for me. It's, I think it's possibly got me out of uh, diabetes and I can now concentrate on living a full and healthy life. Now I did have one issue about heart rate. My, my watch, which you might be hearing beeping in the background there, is telling me that, that my heart rate is lower than average. Now when you Google things on the internet, it says like, oh, anything below 60 beats per minute, go and see your doctor. Uh, I went to see my doctor and told him and asked him about it. He said, well, first of all, he pointed out that these watches are causing people a lot of anxiety because they are literally alerting you to things they don't, that aren't really a big issue. They're panicking people. And um, he said that his heart rate was like about 54. You know, and he's a healthy, he was young, uh, you know, obviously he's in, the 30, he's in his 30s or something, but uh, he said, my heart rate is perfect. Um, and, he, we, you know, he thought it's probably the blood pressure tablets that's keeping it like that or, or something to do with my dieting that's keeping it like that. So it's all going pretty well. I'm uh, very pleased with it. Um, you, know, you might be wondering, well, what's your weight? Well, I say I lost another five pounds uh, and I can't remember my weight. What's five pounds off what I said before? Um, well, the main thing is I'm under 20 and uh, that's what I wanted to be. I started off at 24 stone. Uh, I've lost four stone and uh, uh, maybe you can spot it in, in just how I, I am. I'm just like a completely different person. One of the best things I've noticed is I don't snort anymore. I don't heavy breathe. <laughs> Which, which I started doing in the videos, and it's just awful. I don't think I'm doing that anymore. I certainly have a lot more energy. Uh, I, like, I can get off the steps, like off this coach, I can just walk down the steps normally, whereas before I'd have to, like, step, step, and catch up, and the other foot would have to catch up, and step, and the other foot would catch up. Life is just very, very different. And I'm like, I started thinking that, well, this is just all part of getting old, but it's not. You, do, you know, you, you, you're, you, they say you're not as, you're as old as you feel. And it's like, no, you're as old, um, it's probably true, <laughs> actually, thinking about it. It probably is true. And if you feel, if you're like, you know, 50-something or 40-something and you're feeling really, really terrible, you shouldn't really be. So, it, and so much is, is a down to diet and how it affects you, how you feel. So, anyway, I'm in danger of getting a bit luxury now that I've lost a bit of weight and I'm super conscious about stuff like that. So, I hope that uh, everyone who's doing this along with me uh, is having successes with it. I know these videos aren't getting many views, um, but I know that there is like some people who are absolutely, even if it's just a couple of people, I'm happy that these are helping them uh, and helping them get through it. But keep at it. The, don't think of it as a shake or a soup. Think of it as a medicine uh, and uh, stick with it. The time flies by. Uh, and uh, as you start to lose weight, uh, my advice, although I'm not a doctor, is get out a little bit start pushing yourself a little bit more keep monitoring your heart and uh, if it starts getting over about 120 or something like that then just stop bring it back down get back down to 70 or 80 and then just take a few more steps just start doing two mile walks just walk around your block it's boring if, if you make it boring but uh get into audiobooks get yourself a free audible <laughs> get an audible account or something it's not sponsored by audible um, and listen to audiobooks and while you're losing weight and exercising, educate yourself about the world. Get some history and biographies under your belt. That's what I'm doing, and I'm loving every minute of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves, uh, and I'll see you next week when I upload the 
Uh, oh, we're getting close to the week 12, but uh, I can't remember what week I'm on. I've already, already, already forgotten. Have a good time. Have a good day. I'll catch you later. Uh, <laughs> the last leg. Uh, oh, good Lord.